Don't be afraid of the big bad wolf. I'll only eat you a little bit. Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, continuing on with the painting of this Iron Priest that I'm doing for Mythos. If you haven't checked out the Frost and Fist channel yet, then please do so. Uh, the link is in the description below. Great couple of guys, great channel, definitely worth a sub. Um, and yes, I'm painting up this uh, Thunderwolf um, Iron Priest for Mythos. Um, so, I've been working on the Iron Priest. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, but also, I've been heavily working on the actual Thunderwolf mounts. And as you can see, it's coming along pretty nicely. Now, I haven't quite finished um, but um, a good majority of it's done so I've completed all of the fur. Um, I've gone for the similar sort of paint scheme to what I use in my um, 13th company because uh, I know Mythos is a huge fan of that so I thought it'd be nice to do that um, and as you can see he's um, coming out quite nicely I think. Um, what I've got left to do is I still need to highlight the teeth um, and the claws um, I've also got to highlight the leather as well on the saddle. I just spin him around slowly here. Um, his tongue needs highlighting. In terms of his eye, um, I've done a green eye. You probably can't really see it very well on here. Um, but yeah, I've gone in uh, with a green eye. I always find it difficult to how to paint uh, wolf eyes. Um, but I decided on my army a long time ago that I'd go for like a, a green colour. Because uh, when the light hits the eye of an animal, generally you get this like bright colour. Um, so I've always done green eyes, so I did that on this guy as well. Uh, so I've still got to paint, um, so I highlight all the metal work. It has been washed, um, and he's got these like really cool sort of metal teeth, as well as the traditional teeth. So um, they all need highlighting along with the tongue. On this side, I've got the cyber eye thing, just on here. I've still got to do the little lens on the front, I haven't done that. Um, and he's got like wires coming out so certain sections of his leg, like on there. Um, and of course I've got to do the saddle again, that's just base coated and uh, washed. So, coming on pretty nicely, not too much more work to do on him. Now whilst I was painting him, I've also been laying down uh, the base coat of the grey. Okay, oh. so um, I'm using my 13th company um, Space Wolves grey on this guy. Um, but I've, I've sort of come up with a little bit of fluff uh, to help this guy fit into Mythos's army. Now if you haven't seen his army already, he's got a really cool um, different colour scheme Space Wolf armies. His army basically is black and silver. Looks really cool. Um, you should definitely check it out. Like I said, link in the description below to their channel. Go and check the videos out. You can see his Space Wolves on there. Uh, something a little bit different. Um, so, I, as I said, I know he loves the 13th Company and that's what I want to give him, but I also want to get this model sort of to fit into his army. So, the story is... Uh, this Iron Priest basically got lost uh, from the pack as such uh, from the 13th company in the Eye of Terror and uh, somehow he came across a little like um, tear in the warp uh, and it sent him uh, through the warp um, and he ended up on a planet uh, near Mythos's wolf pack basically. Um, so he in the end finds the wolf pack um, and he decides that he wants to join that wolf pack and fight uh, with them. Now to show his um, honour to this new wolf pack and also to his 13th company uh, brothers um, what he's done is he's decided to keep his 13th company armour um, including some of the chaos bits which he's stolen which is his uh, going to be his uh, foot and his shoulder pad um, and then to show honour to his new pack um, he's basically taken um, the chest plate uh, from his new company and he's basically put the chest plate on um, he's also going to be putting on some uh, like forearms and some gloves like forearm pads and gloves um, so that's what I've decided to do so now he's wearing uh, Mythos's army's uh, like chest section forearm pieces and gloves and the rest is his uh, 13th company armor and I think that works quite nicely um, so now although he is a 13th company space wolf basically he fights alongside Mythos's army um, so that's my little story and that's how I plan to paint him so he's going to have 
mostly 13th company stuff on there, but his ch his chest section is sort of bottom of his arms and his gloves are gonna be Mythos's army. Um, so hopefully that'll work quite nicely. I'm just gonna spin him around quickly. Um, all I've done is done the gray armor, um, which is Dawnstone gray, and uh, I went in with about four light um, watered down coats just to build up the color. So I've got a nice, even, smooth finish. Um, on that, so um, yeah, that's how I've uh, done, that's what I've done so far. Uh, Mythos, really, really hope you like it. I hope you like the little fluff. This is the first time that Mythos would have heard about the fluff, because I haven't uh, given him a sneak peek of that, so let me know what you think. Um, everyone else, let me know what you think of that idea as well. Hopefully it should work quite nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to painting these. Um, thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video.